In this video, we're gonna talk about using a medical tape to help prevent your mouth breathing. Hi, this is Dr. Dylan. Today, we're gonna to continue our video series on different products to help stop mouth breathing. So today, we're gonna to talk about a medical tape. Um, I've tried a variety of different medical tapes. This is the one that I've found to work the best of the different types of medical tapes, and it's called Nexcare Sensitive Skin Tape. It is a, um, a tape that now can be used in a variety of different ways. Basically, it's used over your face, whether you use a thin piece in the middle, or you can, you can take it out, rip it in, in two parts, even put it as an X. Um, you can even put it across. Some people even put a little slit in it. There's just, you know, like your uh, imagination is your limitation, basically, uh, of how it could be used to help keep your mouth closed. Uh, the most important thing, though, is make sure you do get checked out by your family doctor. Make sure it's safe for you to be able to use. And also make sure that whatever you use, whether it's this or any other product um, over your lips, that you are able to comfortably open your mouth without using your hands um, at night in the event of a, any kind of emergency or any kind of purpose. We, we want any product that you know, helps close your mouth to be more of a, like a gentle tug to help you know, just prevent your lips from coming apart. Not something like, uh, like duct tape that you see in a movie that uh, prevents people from, from opening their mouth. Regarding the price um, for um, this particular tape, in Canada, it's approximately $10 on Amazon. And in the US, uh, you get actually two of them for about $10 US on, on Amazon as well. So it is a, a bit of a premium tape relative to other medical tapes. There's lots of other medical tapes out there. Many of them are a fraction of the price of this one. But given the fact that the lips are a very sensitive area, um, you know, this is actually a very comfortable tape where it's quite soft and it comes off the lips without taking any skin off, which uh, I have unfortunately experienced. So it's, uh, it's one of those things where I really recommend uh, using a, a quality tape. Before we continue on with the rest of the video, please help us share this information with as many other people as possible by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Um, that really helps the YouTube algorithm um, help to promote this information to more people. Regarding some uh, pros of this particular product, the advantages are that you have multitude of ways of putting it on your lips or your face uh, in a way that might be comfortable for you, that works for you. Um, other products have to be used in a particular way and that might be good for some people but may not be good for others. So this is a, uh, a definitely a very flexible product. Another pro is the fact that it's um, reasonably priced, like relative to other products out there on a per per use, like the, um, typically I'll use, um, let's say three inches per use. There's 48 inches in a package, works out to be about 16 uses for, um, for $10 in Canada. Another advantage is the fact that it's actually quite comfortable. It's, uh, it's quite soft, uh, you know, once it's on your, in your face or your lips, uh, at least for me, I, you know, within a minute, don't even feel like it's even on my face anymore. And it is uh, quite, um, like I said, comfortable even in the morning to remove. Um, it, it comes off quite cleanly off the skin. And the last uh, advantage that I find for uh, this particular tape is that, at least for my skin, the way it sticks onto my skin, and it really can vary person to person because some people's skins are more oily or dry than others, but for at least for me, I can safely open my mouth with this on um, quite easily, uh, and yet I can and put this back on uh, if I needed to uh, open my mouth for whatever reason at night and then be able to reuse the same piece of tape. So in terms of the cons of this particular product, it's a general purpose type tape. It's not specifically designed for mouth breathing as it hasn't been specifically tested for it to make sure that uh, it's safe in a particular use manner. So it's up to the individual person to make sure that they're using it in a, in a safe way. And this is where I may even recommend, you know, talk to your doctor about this and make, you know, even show them how you plan on using it. 
make sure it is safe for you. That is, uh, you know, like I said, it can be used in a safe manner perhaps, and it can definitely be used in a not so safe manner and uh, dependent on how you place it over, over your lips and your mouth. You know, I, I've definitely recommended this to many patients over the years and in many, I would say majority of them um, were able to use this quite successfully, but I've definitely had um, a good large uh, minority where they uh, found that, you know, it didn't work well for their skin. Maybe it was too oily and came off too easily or, or maybe it did stick on too well. In that case, I do recommend taking on and off a few times uh, to kind of reduce its stickiness. The fact that you have so many different options, which is not a good thing for some people. Some people uh, just want to use it one way. They want, you know, they want a product that, you know, is supposed to work in a certain manner. Experimenting is not their cup of tea. So for those people, it's not a good product. So in terms of uh, side effects to using this particular medical tape, this uh, applies to uh, anyone who has any kind of reaction to uh, adhesives. Like there are people who are allergic or sensitive to uh, any kind of adhesive product. In theory, being that it is a uh, design for sensitive skin, I, I do find that fewer people have an issue with it, but there are definitely some who definitely do. So you need to be careful if you react to um, any kind of uh, tape that goes over your skin. Now, in terms of uh, the reusability of the, of, the, of the product, it is reusable, but you do want to put it on some kind of clean, glossy surface like glass or um, clear plastic or something like that to be able to stick it on as a temporary thing to be able to reuse it again. So it is possible to you know maybe get more life out of the product um, by, by reusing it. Um, I do find that at its price, that I, I just use it once and uh, and and then um, and then use a fresh piece for the next day. Now, in terms of the score that I would give this, so I can rank this against other products that are also designed to help prevent mouth breathing. In terms of from a comfort score, I'd give it a, an eight. It's it's quite soft, quite comfortable. It doesn't hurt the lips. But at the same time, for some people, given the fact that it doesn't have any one particular way of being used, they may not like that, uh, you know, lack of knowing that there's one way to use it. Uh, there are people, uh, they want to be told a particular way and that may or may not work for them. So you do need to experiment to figure out a way to, to make this work. So, so I'll give it an eight. Now, in terms of, uh, can I open my mouth um, with it on? And I'd give that a score of eight as well. Uh, for my skin, at least, it comes off quite cleanly um, if I try to open my mouth uh, in the middle of the night if I ever need to, and I can put it back on, typically. Uh, but again, that also depends on how you apply it onto your skin. You might put it on in such a way that you may have a difficult time opening your mouth, so you need to be careful with that. Uh, so as long as you're, you're careful with that, it's, it's a tape that its adhesiveness should allow for uh, being able to open your mouth. So number three is um, its reusability. Um, it is um, definitely reusable. Um, I've been able to find that, at least for my skin, that I, uh, if I wanted to, I could reuse the same piece again. Although at uh, its price point, I just found it easier to just throw it away and get a new one. But for those who are a little more conscious about throwing away things, um, definitely uh, you can reuse it. Um, I find uh, at least uh, I should be able to reuse it maybe at least once more. So it was reasonably reusable. Um, so I'd give that a uh, more like a five out of 10. Uh, it's, it's one of those things where sometimes if a little bit of saliva gets on it or something like that, you really don't want to reuse it. 
The last point is, um, is for the price. Its price is reasonably good. Um, it's not as expensive as some products and not as cheap as others. So it's more like a, like a seven out of 10. Now this all combines to a score of 28 out of 40. That's a score of 70%. So it's a reasonably good product, uh, relatively high in our score, but um, you know, again, uh, based on how important certain factors are for you, your what may be good for you uh, might be a little bit different. So just uh, you know, uh, just you know, feel uh, and find out what's important for yourself, and then you can decide which product might be best for you. So in conclusion, uh, this next care sensitive skin tape is a uh, is a potentially a, a really good option for those who are looking to prevent their mouth breathing. Um, I do find it quite effective. Um, its flexibility can be a pro and con, dependent on your circumstances. Uh, it's reasonably safe and comfortable at the same time. So be careful with any type of device like this. Um, make sure you you know you get checked out by uh, by a doctor as well, um, and make sure it's in a, used in a very safe manner. Thank you for uh, watching this video, and especially if you're watching this video still at this point of the video. Um, really appreciate it. Please, you know, like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps to promote this message and 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 uh, you know help more people out there um, due to the way the YouTube algorithm works. So uh, thank you very much, and we look forward to uh, for giving you another video soon.